People serving people, co-creating a shared place and space in the community where people do life together with other people. This is living proof that people serving people moves everyone's imaginations from tracking statistics on homelessness to celebrating human belonging. People serving people is the largest and most comprehensive emergency shelter for families experiencing homelessness in Minnesota. People Serving People is a dedicated leader in homelessness prevention. Their vision is healed families, transformed communities, and their mission is to see families thrive. Late in 2020, I had the privilege of having meaningful conversations with Ali, Robert, and their three young children, Joseph, Caleb, and Lamaya, a family of five living at People Serving People, as well as Renal Ray, the new chief executive officer. As long as I got these people right here next to me, I'm fine. That's why I try to teach them, hey, stay positive, stay happy, and just be proud of what you can achieve, because all that, that's all that matters. Not only that, I try to put strong metaphors into their life from, from basically two movies. It's gonna sound corny, but one from, from Spider-Man, the whole Uncle Ben scene where they, he said, comes great power, comes great responsibility. And then the last Rocky movie, four, where he said it's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep on getting back up. A strong and demanding love can also be receiving the thing that is hard to hear, right? And to kind of using that as an opportunity for some self-exploration on why you had the reaction to that that you had. It also looks like shifting power. Um, it means that we don't have power over our families, but instead we're sharing power with our families. And that I think is a really meaningful and a hard thing to do in, in some ways. It means that we're living more deeply into centering our families' voices and making sure that no decision about them is made without them. The gift to me in these conversations was working on that question about belonging and then seeing right in front of me those who embody a vision of moving themselves and our community from statistics to belonging. 